Welcome back to TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. A lot of you viewers have asked about square wave technology. And more specifically, does my machine have it? And how do I use it? Well, let me answer this. First of all, square wave technology has been around for probably close to 30 years. So there's a good chance that your machine has it. It is only needed and only used on the AC side of your setting of your machine. So if you put your machine on DC and you're expecting some kind of cleaning action, uh, it doesn't do it. So let's talk about the two technologies. If your machine says something like square wave, cyber wave, anything that has the term wave in it, you probably have square wave technology in your machine. If it doesn't, you have what's called sinusoidal. And sinusoidal is a wave pattern that will give you a little bit of cleaning. And you can see by this chart, this is a sinusoidal wave. You'll get a nanosecond of cleaning, and you'll see a nanosecond of heat going into the part. Now, the old technology used to have a cliche that said, in welding aluminum, you had to clean it, clean it, and clean it. Well, the square wave technology has managed to cut off the tops of that sinusoidal wave, as you can see here and cut off the bottom and you have a lot more time duration on both cleaning and putting heat into your uh, piece part that you're welding. So take a look at it and see if it's your machine or not. Now you can also hear the difference. I've had viewers call and say I've got a machine that sounds much smoother, much nicer than the square wave machine. And it does. And the reason is because it's not creating as much cleaning action. So we're going to do two demos for you here because I want to talk about balanced wave. And in most cases, uh, an operator may set up the machine on a balanced wave. It actually is too much cleaning. Now my preference is to start your machine on 70% negative. And this machine has that setting on it. We'll show you how to use it. So that's 70% negative, 30% positive. If you accidentally set it up on 50-50 or a balanced wave, you're probably deteriorating your tungsten and it's disappearing up into your torch. So let me get my gear on and let's go through those two settings. Okay, I've put on our clear Pyrex jumbo gas lens just for viewing purposes. It's easier to film what's going on. So I've got the machine set at a balanced wave or 50-50. And I'm going to initiate the arc, and I want you to watch the cleaning action taking place. Okay, not only can you see the bombardment taking place, but it's actually got pretty high intensity. You can actually hear it as well. Now, whenever you have a balanced wave, take a look at your tungsten because it's going to ball up on you and it's just going to attack that tungsten and get worse and worse and worse. So if ever you have to use this, use it just because you have an extremely dirty part. Other than that, I prefer to go to a 70% negative, 30% positive, which I'll show you on this machine. Okay, I've now changed the tungsten back to a freshly ground pointed tungsten. It's 2% thoriated. I reset the machine. I now have 70% negative, 30% positive. So you're going to see cleaning action. It's just not going to drive as deep and as wide. So here we go. You can see it's, it's a much narrower cleaning action. Yeah, which is okay because that's about the width that I'm going to weld. Now you don't normally do this before welding. I'm just showing you this because this is what happens during welding. Okay, and as you can notice, the cleaning action still works good, but it's narrower. Now what that allows you to do is to get deeper penetration into the aluminum. Well, this is just an exercise to show you how your machine can clean your aluminum for you. You don't necessarily have to do the cleaning action and then do the welding, but I just want to show you the difference. Now, we have several links in the description below 
it'll show you different techniques and methods of welding aluminum. And we're going to continue to have more because there's an awful lot of information that you need to have. Anyway, let your machine do the work for you. If you have square wave, you have an advantage. Thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.